Hey, welcome back to GenPay AI. If you're creating videos, telling stories, building podcasts, or just want to add voice without ever picking up a mic, this video is going to show you how to do that completely free. And trust me, don't skip this video. By the end of it, you'll know exactly how to create realistic, expressive, even multilingual AI voiceovers. Not flat robotic stuff. I'm talking about voices that can laugh, whisper, and even act out full conversations like a real voice actor. We're looking at two incredible tools, a cool and Google AI studio. Both are free, both are powerful, and yes, we'll also compare them to Eleven Labs, which a lot of people use but might not even be necessary anymore. Stay with me, because I've got a full character scene at the end you'll want to hear. Let's get into it. First up is a cool. Open your browser, search for a cool AI, click the first result, and sign in with your Google account. Once you're in, go to the menu and choose Voice Generator. You can use up to 5,000 characters per job. No credits needed, no limits. It's super easy. Choose a voice. I recommend picking one labeled just English, those usually sound the smoothest. Paste in your script. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. Laughs, yup, full on cat face presenting to my boss. Whispers, I just kept going like nothing happened. Click generate. Wait a few seconds. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. Laughs. Yep, full on cat face, presenting to my boss. Whispers, I just kept going like nothing happened. Best meeting of the year. When it's done, download your voiceover. Let's also try a Chinese prompt using the same voice. 你好,欢迎来到跟配AI频道。今天我们教你如何使用免费的语音工具. Sounds pretty good, right? 你好,欢迎来到跟配AI频道。I know a little Chinese myself, and it feels smooth and accurate. Now here's something important. A cool does not perform emotion tags like laughs or whispers. It reads those words out loud. If you need real emotion laughing, whispering, emotional tone shifts, then Google AI Studio is your best bet. A cool is great for clear, fast, multilingual voiceovers, but not for acting or expressive delivery. Next up, Google AI Studio. And this is where it gets powerful. Go to Google AI Studio, log in, and click Native Speech Generation. Make sure to set the model to Gemini 2.5 Pro. That's what gives you access to the emotional speech features. Then click Single Speaker. Choose a voice. I'm using one called Aweed in this demo, but try a few and see what fits your project. Paste your script and hit run. Let's try the same prompt from earlier. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. Laughs, yup, full on cat face presenting to my boss. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. <laughs> yup, full on cat face presenting to my boss. I just kept going like nothing happened. Best meeting of the year. Whispers, I just kept going like nothing happened. This time it actually laughs. It whispers. The voice reacts like a real person. That's what makes this tool a game changer. It doesn't just read the tags, it performs them. And it feels human. Write your scripts like you're directing a voice actor. Add pauses, tone directions, and emotional cues. Google understands them. Let's put it to the test against Eleven Labs. Live. Same exact line. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. Laughs, yup, full on cat face presenting to my boss. I was halfway through the presentation when I realized I still had the zoom filter on. Laughs, yup, full on cat face presenting to my boss. Whispers, I just kept going like nothing happened. Best meeting of the year. Google AI Studio laughed and nailed the timing. Eleven Labs? It said the word laughs out loud. So here's the reality. Google does emotion by default. Eleven Labs has great clarity, but for emotion, you'll need a paid plan or complex prompt engineering. If you're focused on storytelling or personality, Google clearly wins here. Now let's talk about language. In Google, I tested this line in Chinese. 你好,欢迎来到跟配AI频道。今天我们教你如何使用免费的语音工具。你好。
欢迎来到 g e n p a y AI 频道。今天我们教你如何使用免费的语音工具。It sounded fluent, smooth, natural. Then I tested Spanish. Hola, bienvenidos al canal g e n p a y AI. Hoy aprenderemos a crear voces realistas con inteligencia artificial, Hola, completamente gratis. Hoy aprenderemos a crear voces realistas con inteligencia artificial, completamente gratis. Did great too. Good rhythm, clear pronunciation. So yes, a cool supports multiple languages very well. But here's the twist: I added emotion tags to a Spanish script in Google AI Studio, like laughs, whispers, and shock tone. And it still acted them out. Same voice, different language, still emotional. In a cool and eleven labs, those tags were just read as words. So the difference is clear. Both tools are great for multilingual voice generation, but only Google brings emotion into it. Now let's try something fun—a two-character voice scene in Google AI Studio. Switch to multi-speaker mode. Assign different voices to each character. In this example, Alex using the voice called Puck, confident tone. Lena using the voice called Lita, energetic and expressive. Alex laughs. Okay, I'm officially obsessed. I typed this out, hit run, and the AI laughed at the exact right time. Lena, I know. Shocked tone. I added a whisper, and it actually whispered. I was stunned. Alex laughs. Imagine using this for a YouTube skit, podcast, or animation. No actors needed. Lena. I used it for a Spanish conversation, and the voice automatically switched accents mid-sentence. My mom thought it was a real person. Just paste your lines, assign the speakers, and click run. Google builds the whole conversation. You're literally creating podcast-level dialogue with no voice recording at all. I was like, "All right, this isn't just a tool. It's basically an actor." <laughs> Bro, you scared yourself. But yeah, think about this: you can do an entire podcast, character scene, or skit with no mic, no cast, just text. I tested a Spanish script too. The same voice flipped into accent mode perfectly. My mom legit thought it was a person. Right, and we're still not paying anything for this. One last tip before we wrap up. Take any blog post, lesson, or promo script. Add tags like calm tone, excited pause, sarcastic tone. Drop it into Google AI Studio. You'll get a voiceover that sounds human, not robotic. Add background music and visuals, and you've got a full video with no mic. Let's wrap this up. A cool is fast, free, and great for multilingual clarity. It's a good choice if you don't need emotional delivery. Google AI Studio is the best for expression, emotion, tone, and realism, especially if you're telling stories or doing dialogue. Eleven Labs sounds super clean, but unless you pay or get advanced with prompts, it won't handle emotions well. Try all three, mix and match depending on your project. If this helped, go ahead and like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which one you're trying first. This is Genpei AI, and I'll catch you in the next one.